welcome back to Fun Stuff Crafts. I've got a real fun project for us to do today. So I picked up these tiles from my local Habitat for Humanity and I put them together with a really cute napkin and I made these patriotic coasters. You can also use pictures um, or you could use a really colorful piece of cardstock. I've already posted a step-by-step -step on my blog on this, but I thought I'd put together this video and show you how to make it. So give me a second to get my camera adjusted and we'll start making. So let's get started with the supplies you're going to need. Mod Podge, dishwater safe, 4x4 four four tiles, furniture felt circles, a pair of scissors, a napkin, and a paintbrush. And here is what the finished product looks like. So the very first step I do is I take the napkin and you have to separate the napkin. And it takes a little bit, but most napkins are either two or three ply. This napkin happens to be a two ply napkin. So sometimes if I get my fingers a little wet, um, or if you just need to pull it together, but eventually you'll get a hold of it like I did here, and you just pull it apart. So it pulls usually really easy, but just be careful that you don't tear it. And then the white part, or the bottom part of the napkin, I'm going to use as a cover here in a minute. But my next step is to cut out. Now, I was lucky with this napkin because those squares are a little bit bigger than the size of my tile. So I am just cutting out one of the squares so I could actually make four tiles from one napkin. So then our next step to do is we are going to put some Mod Podge on the tile. But first I want to put something to protect my mat. So I'm just using that other piece of the napkin. And then I'm getting my paintbrush and I'm dipping it into my dishwater safe Mod Podge. And I'm just giving it a really good coat here. And I'm just going back and forth and trying not to have um, very many lines. Um, so you want to be generous about it. And then you want to make sure you get the edges. Really important to get the edges so we can really seal it in here. So once I get a good coat on that, I am going to take the tile, lay it down, and then I kind of fold the napkin a little bit in half and start in the center and just very gently lay it down. And then I just use my fingers to even out any little wrinkles. And I'm pushing around the edges here um, just to adhere it to the edges. So you can see here I'm just kind of pushing it. I don't have any Mod Podge on the bottom of the tile, just on the, on the sides. And so I'm going to just press it around, working those corners very carefully. And then you will see um, that I am ready to go with a second coat. Now, depending on your napkin, some napkins, the color um, will run a little bit. So you have to be really careful. I learned with these um, patriotic napkins here that my blue sometimes likes to run. So I always start with the red and the white first. Um, but I'm just putting a good coat over the top and then I'm making sure that I get each one of the sides. Again, this is one area that sometimes people forget if you don't get a, a good layer of Mod Podge on the side there. So then as you can see on the back side, um, I'm just pushing that down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tile and place it in a cold oven and set the temperature to 170 degrees and the timer for 10 minutes. Once your timer goes off, we'll take our next step. Now that you've taken it out of the oven, we are going to finish off the edges. So what I do is I take a file and I am just filing along the edge 
just to put a finish on it and to also get off the excess napkin. So you can see here I'm just taking my file and as I'm working it I'm just pulling off that excess napkin. As a reminder we didn't want any of the Mod Podge glue on the bottom of the tile just on the sides but sometimes that um, spreads out a little bit and so you just use that file. Now some people use sandpaper for this. Um, I just find that the files work out really nice. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to work each side of this. And as you can see I am just pulling off my excess and I find that if you do the file in one direction first it works out the best. Now sometimes this comes off really easily and other times I have to work it a little bit so just take some time and um, get that excess off it really gives for a nice finish on your tile if you get that all off so you can see that I'm just working it and getting off all of the excess now sometimes um, you might want to have a finish where it is um, tore on the side a little bit. I just think with this um, napkin it looked really nice to have a finished edge. So that's what I'm going to end up with here is a really nice finished, finished edge on the tile. So one more side here we'll get done and then after we're done with this we are going to put one more coat of Mod Podge um, on the tile. And the reason why I like to use the dishwater safe is because this is a coaster you're going to be using for your um, cups. And if anything gets dripped on it, you don't need to worry about um, the coaster being ruined at all. So that's why I choose to use the Mod Podge. Some people like to finish their tiles with a polyurethane. I just find that the Mod Podge works really nice with this type of coaster. So we'll do one more coat of Mod Podge and then once I do that one more coat I'm going to put the tile back into the oven and I am going to set it the time for 10 minutes. Now I've left my oven on so it's already reached the temperature of 170 degrees. You definitely do not want to put your tile in at any higher of a temperature. We are still dealing with paper here, so we want to be very careful there. But another really good coat of Mod Podge um, on top of this tile. And then we'll go back in the oven for 10 minutes. And once we get done with that 10 minutes, we will finish off our tile. So we are just about done here. Again, you can see I'm making sure I get the edges um, just to make sure it's sealed really good. The other reason why I like the, the oven method is it just gives it a really good hard finish and you can make these much quicker. Otherwise, you would need to wait between drying times for each one of these layers. So I'm going to take it to the oven now. Okay, so I've removed it from the oven. Now our tile has two coats of Mod Podge on it. And so our last step is to put these furniture um, felt circles on the bottom. Now, another option would be to put cork on the bottom. I just happen to have these on hand, and so I decided to go ahead and use um, these. Sometimes the tape on the back is a little um, hard to use. I'm using my pen pen I usually use for when I'm taking vinyl off um, um, to help get that backing off. But basically all we're going to do is put one on each corner there. And we are going to have a, oops, looks like I forgot to do one. Um, see that? And so get that backing removed. And then we have got a completed tile. I normally like to do four of these and make a set out of them. But this is how you complete a coaster made from a napkin. So thanks so much for joining another Fun Stuff Crafts. And remember, 
If you liked what we did here today, subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted each time I post a new video.